I'm going to demonstrate my frame navigation commands for Flash. Now these are commands that are inside the commands menu. Uh, you just have to go to commands and then find same object, uh, go to first frame, go to last frame, keyframe decrement, keyframe increment, or frame decrement, frame increment. I have these bound to, uh, to keyboard shortcuts, so I'm just going to use those for this demonstration. So I've set up a file here that just has three symbols, the happy, neutral, and sad, and uh, I have them just moving around in a circle and uh, using keyframes. The basic thing of what these commands do is, uh, I'll just use the uh, frame increment and frame decrement here, is if you have something selected and you move around, it's going to keep that same thing selected. I'm just, I, ha I have this bound to the uh, left and right angle bracket key, which is, is the normal frame step key in Flash. So it's, it's really useful for moving around when you want to keep your same stuff selected. It's great like if you want to go through and do something to every instance of, a, of an object. So like I could, I could go through and say, hey, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go to the next one, and oops, went too far. And then do something similar here. So it, that kind of stuff, you know, it's good for, for when you want to tweak something on every frame. Uh, and you won't, don't want to have to reselect every time. So there's that one, which goes a single frame. And then I also have one which goes to the next keyframe. So it goes like to the dot here. Um, and uh, again, keeps the same stuff selected. And this will work with multiple things. You can see these are all on the same layer, and it, and it still works just fine. The other commands that I have just move your current frame to be either at the end or at the beginning. So I have these bound to the end and home keys. So I hit end, goes to the very end of my timeline, and keeps the same things selected. Or I can hit home, and that goes to the beginning of the timeline and keeps the same thing selected. And if you want to set up the uh, keyboard shortcuts, you'll have to go, you have to do that in the edit keyboard shortcuts menu. Uh, so that's all. I hope you like it. Bye.